Welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration Channel. Those of you who knew, my name is Barry. Today, we're going to put the brake drums back on the shafts. Now, hopefully this is going to be a 10 minute job. If it isn't, that's something I've gone seriously wrong, okay? Um, however, it took us about an hour and a half to get set up in here. As you can see here, we have removed the cap and the outer race of the outer bearing. And the end of our shaft, I'll show you when we're finished, the end of the shaft is sitting on the top of a socket like that, a piece of wood under the back. So it's sitting on a piece of wood and on the socket on the shaft. The reason for that is when you pop the drum on and it goes down and you start to hit your piece of pipe, right, it, if the cap was still on, if the cap was still on, the, the shaft with the inner race and the cage sits in the outer race and that's the only piece that contacts this cap. So if you start pounding that brake drum on without supporting the shaft, you're, you're, you're impacting the bearing rollers into the outer race against this cap and against the circlip. Therefore, you need to, have to remove the cap and support the shaft. Right. In order to try and make this a little bit easier, I've got here, Ken's going to love this, I've got Deb's jam pan with a brake drum inside it, raised up on a couple of sockets so it's not sitting on the bottom of the pan, the oil's got room to manoeuvre in there. So we've got that in there, we have got our somewhere We've got a 56 pound hammer that I'm hoping that we'll just use gently because I'm hoping by heating this brake drum up here we're going to fish it out by inserting the two um, jacking out bolts so we've got two handles to position it on there. I have got the keyway facing up straight up here so we know the position to pop it in right let's stick some heat on give it a whiz see if it's going to work eh and I'm back in my pan or I I'm back in the pan because the brake drum simply will not fit into the deep fat fryer would have been lovely if it would but it wouldn't so we need to keep an eye on the oil what's going to happen is when this gets up to temperature I'm going to lift, I'm going to turn the gas off, I'm going to lift the pan off onto here so it's got somewhere stable, secure and stable. We're then going to get it out, we're going to wipe the surplus oil off the outside of the drum. The inside doesn't matter because we can get to the inside when it's in there. But we're going to wipe the surplus off and very quickly Try and get it on and down into position. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping this is just going to swell enough so that it can uh, ease it on. I finally got a bit of tube. I think that's 17 quid, a bit of steel tube. 50, 50 mil outside diameter, two mil walls. Gives you about 46 in the middle. And it just, it's a nice fit over the top of there with a bit of room. Um, I see, I think I paid about 17 quid for it. And I think I might actually end up possibly making um, a proper puller for it out of that tube once we get organised. Right.
screw the handles in. screws back that is hot right let's have a look yeah pipe and a tap Home. We're home. Take that out. Get my towel. You could hear the note change when that hit the collar. And my pain survived. Now I'm not going to clean all the oil off that at the minute, I don't want to because it's going to sit for a while and I don't want to go and rusty again. Um, but we will remember to clean it before we um, put it back onto the tractor up against the shoes. Okay, now, in fact I'll tell you what we can do, can, while that's cooling, we can get this one ready can't we? Take the bolts out. I'll tell you what, put a bolt back in so we're moving it onto here, we can control it. Last thing you want is this falling and spilling, isn't it? Right. Okay, this should be done now. We're going to pop it onto its feet and we're going to put we'll put the cap and the bearing back in. Eh? Soft hammer. <sighs> Can you see? Now the cap with the shims still on.
clip. One of these big clip. Now, a punch, a little bit of a punch, just to tap that clip and make sure it's right home into position. There we go. That was the socket sitting on the end of the shaft, so we can, that was on the ground, shaft on top of that. We can then push down and we're hitting the concrete, we're not touching the casting at all, we're just knocking it together till it hits that position where you hear the note change and you know the drum has contacted that collar and we're there. A little bit more difficult this time because we have got the, uh, the internals in here. So we've had to stand it up on a couple of bits of wood, it's standing on the wheel studs We've got everything in place, everything's secure, shims out, caps out, clips out. I've left the inner race in, but it's, it's hanging down, it's not tight. We've got my gas back on, yep, gas is on, merrily bubbling. I need that up to temperature, hopefully it shouldn't take long. We'll pop it on, we've got the hammer. But this time I'm going to put a towel just around it like that to catch any dirt that comes off that 56 pound hammer because it's a big lump of nasty, dirty, filthy steel. I think that should be hot enough now. Put our screws back in. And very quickly Shift my pan quickly but safely. Show that in a bit more. I'll just let it. Let me towel. So do. We have a wipe. Just take off the surplus. Put my pipe on. As I say, I'm just going to wrap that towel around. Stop the dirt. Where's my hammer? Oh. Here we go. One more little tap. That's it. Bit of a wipe out. There we go, brake drums back in. What I'm gonna do now, we'll let that cool, we'll let the oil cool, we'll get tidied up, 
Bob's your uncle, isn't he? <laughs> Job done. We'll just get the caps back in. We'll get the clips back in. Job sorted. All right. <laughs> right, that's it then. Another little job done. Um, we'll get tidied up, sorted out, put it back up there. That one took a little bit more knocking on than the first one. That must have been the tighter one of the two. I see I did measure them. There was one slightly tighter than the other one. One was 8,000 and one was 10,000. That's probably the, uh, the 10,000 one. Okay, right. Thanks very much for joining us. As always, your time is greatly appreciated. If you found it useful, please give us a like, subscribe, drop a comment, whatever. Um, but remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.